Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so if you can't tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a new product review. This review is going to be on the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Liquid Foundation. So just a few like little facts about my skin type, just in case they relate to anybody else out there watching. Um, I do have one very fair skin. So naturally, whenever I have any redness around like my T-zone or I have redness due to blemishes, um, it's super noticeable, which is kind of why I lean more towards um, full coverage or color correcting, you know, med at least medium to full coverage foundations because I feel like they are for sure at least going to give me the coverage that I want. Without other thing to keep in mind, I do have what I consider very oily skin. Just to give you some um, information on what this product is all about, um, I'm going to read you off of what is here in the box. Oh, it says this is a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one. It does have skincare benefits, which is a big plus. So if you're somebody who is very into skincare, this is probably going to be something that's going to catch your attention. If you're somebody who's not into skincare, this is probably something that should catch your attention. It was created with exceptional purity in mind. It's this ultra thin skin protecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage, a natural finish, and the look and feel of beautiful bare skin while delivering a more noticeably bright, brighter youthful appearance. Made with the bare minimum ingredients and formulated without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance. It's like nothing you've ever felt before. The fact that it is water, oil, silicone, paraben, and fragrance free. That is um, really good already because one, oil is a, con is a concern of mine because like I just said, I do have oily skin. So anything without oil is awesome, you know? And then to not have silicone, silicone parabens, and fragrance, I mean, that's also really important too because if you have sensitive skin, especially if something has fragrance in it, it's going to probably upset your skin, it's going to irritate it or something. So for those of you that have sensitive skin and for those of you that have dry skin, um, this is probably going to be something that's going to be really good for you to try. Also, this is supposed to um, be a pure brightening serum foundation. So what I take from that is that not only does it have the sunscreen, the SPF, all that good stuff, but um, it's supposed to be good for your skin, so over time, I'm assuming it's going to improve the health of your skin. So I'm going to try using this um, consistently to see if I see any um, changes in my skin, to see if it actually does maybe brighten my complexion or it just helps my overall skin health. So the price point of this product is, um, it retails for $29. Now, I did have a coupon and stuff, so like if you're going to get it at Ulta, you know, you can use like one of those 20% off coupons. I think you save yourself like $5 or something. And I do consider Bare Minerals um, like a high-end line of makeup only because you can't find it in drugstores. You can only find it at Sephora or at Ulta. So to me, um, it is more on the high-end side. Not only is this foundation new to the Bare Minerals world, but also the uh, specific brush that was made with this foundation is also something new but the center part of it is hollow that doesn't mean there's no bristles there are bristles in there but it's almost like a little like a little dip like a little ditch um, that they kind of like cut the bristles off halfway or something or a little bit more than halfway so there's like a little well um, in the center of this and this is where you're supposed to dispense the product in there and I guess since it gets pushed into the back or the inner bristles, the outer bristles are going to help spread the product around. Honestly, it kind of just reminds me like of a flat top kabuki brush. Um, so if you have one of those brushes, that'll probably do just as well. But you know, I kind of just wanted to get the full effect of, of this product and you know, the brush that came out with it. So I figured I might as well just buy the brush also. The only thing is though, the brush pretty much cost as much as the foundation. So the brush retails for $28. Um, so if you really don't, are if you really don't need one or like another foundation brush, then like I said, I think any, any flat top kabuki brush will work because all of that, it's all it really is. It's just like a super dense brush. So it should work. Like these brushes, this is a Mary Kay foundation brush. And um, like as you can tell, it's really flat. 
so it's not it doesn't buff it kind of just like you're painting on the product itself is is like a thin liquid so stuff like that is going to just help make it even and spread it out evenly whereas I think if you were to use something like this it's not it's not going to go on as nice and it's not going to give you that kind of coverage that it's supposed to give you only because you're sweeping and being in certain directions and that's also going to probably leave like streaks or something so just don't if you're not going to get the brush don't use a flat foundation brush try to find um try to find a dense buffing one or something with like real dense bristles so this product also comes I believe in 20 shades that you can choose from I literally just picked this up today like and I went without any makeup I just went you know bare fresh face because I wanted to get color matched for it if you're gonna go and you're just gonna try to choose the color based on the um, bottle I I wouldn't suggest to do it I'm even for someone like me where I feel like I'm pretty good at eyeing what foundation, if I'm going to try or buy a new foundation, I'm pretty good at eyeing what um, what's going to be a good color for me. But if you're going to go, don't go based off of the color that's on the actual tube because it's, it's not like it's a clear tube and you can see inside of it. No, this is like a painted tube. So that's, it's. I don't think it'd be a good idea. Um, but while I was there, I did ask an employee to help me. They do have like this clear um, card that you can put on like your your jawline or just anywhere I guess on your face, maybe even your forehead if you like to color match using your forehead. Um, the lady didn't really, she didn't use that on me. She just kind of, um, she, she just looked at me and she was just like, oh, you're going to be like very, very fair, which I, I knew that, but... I was kind of looking, I think, at the third lightest shade they have, but with the one that she picked out for me or that she, she suggested for me was actually the lightest one that they have. So I got it in the shade Bare Porcelain. So anyway, enough of the talking and blah blah blah. <laughs> um, I'm just going to cut to the chase here and uh, you're now going to see my first impression and my first application of this product ever coming up next and then I'm just going to shake this up. I did try some on the back of my hand and um, it looks really sheer so hopefully it offers a little bit more coverage as you can tell I have like a third eye going on right now. It's not cute but you know it happens. Anyway what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put one to two drops to start off with in the little hollow part. It's not hollow it does have bristles in it but um, in the little well of the foundation brush and it feels really soft it's just like a flat top kabuki brush and I put one two I'm gonna start off in the center of my face just because um, I like to work my way out so I'm gonna start off on the nose here goes nothing Okay, so I just finished applying the foundation. I look a little scary right now because I look so pale and washed out. Um, I did build it up more to, I think, a medium coverage. I think I could have gone maybe like two or three drops more and done a full coverage, but I liked where this kind of settled into. Um, I'm going to go finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, so after finishing and putting on the rest of my makeup, um, this is what I have to say about this foundation. Right off the bat, and first off, this is definitely a product for girls who like that natural sheer finish. If you're somebody who has either dry skin 
or you don't like heavy or thick makeup and you want that natural finish, then this is definitely for sure a really good fit for you. you can achieve that full coverage look with the brush and with the product. Um, as far as the brush goes, the unique brush for it, I I like the idea of it and I guess I can kind of see how it helps um, spread out the foundation because like I said the foundation is super liquidy, it's very watery, but the brush does come in handy. The size of it is pretty convenient. It's nice and small, um, but like I said, it's it's very dense and it does move around the product pretty well. I would like to get a brush probably this size but without the little well in it or maybe I would just I'll just use this one and see how it goes with my other foundation products to see how well it applies. But overall, I feel like um, when I was applying the rest of my makeup, it did make everything look a little bit more natural. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it seems like everything just kind of melted into the foundation more than what it usually does when I use a, like a Mary Kay foundation or some of the other foundations that I've used. So um, that's a plus. I mean, in my opinion, if, if it helps the blending of everything else, then that's obviously like a good sign. And I did set it with um, some powder because I could probably have left it alone by itself, but I think I would have had like a lot more shine, um, a lot more shine and that would just make probably things messy for me. Um, another thing, this does have SPF in it. It does have SPF 20. So if you're somebody who doesn't use a sunscreen before applying on your makeup or if your primer doesn't have sunscreen, then um, this is really good for you. Protection against the sun is super important and I don't think enough people realize that. So if you already have a product that has SPF in it, that's like a win-win situation and it's going to, it's, you're going to be thankful that you protected your skin against the sun in the long run. I have a lot of women tell me that um, now that when they're mature and they're older, they say that they wish they would have protected their skin a little bit more against the sun because we don't realize it, but it does damage our skin a lot. And you're not going to see visible signs right away of damage, but throughout the years, um, those signs do start to appear. So having something with sun protection in it is always a plus in my book. That being said, I did use my Mary Kay um, Day Solution that already has some F SPF in it. So with that and then using a primer, I felt like my the surface of my skin was very smooth. I think maybe if I had cut out the, um, the Day Solution, then it probably maybe would have made the finish or the application process a little bit different. So I think for next time, I'm going to try doing that to see how it goes. So um, I'm going to go on about my business and maybe check back in a little bit later, maybe a few hours from now to show how it's been holding up. Um, because I do have oily skin, so I'm curious to see how it's going to react with that. So I'm going to go run some errands and um, just carry on throughout my day, but I'll check back in it's later. It's going to be 8.45. And when I had applied my makeup, it was going to be about 1.30, so it's been about 7 hours into the day. And as you can tell, the foundation has held up pretty well. The only thing I can say about it is that maybe it's gotten a little shiny. I actually haven't touched up with powder at all. So I'm pretty used to touching up with powder throughout the day, so that doesn't seem to be a problem with me. Um, touch up is like a normal thing for me, but I actually don't even feel like it's even that oily. It just seems to be maybe a little bit more shine than I would like, but like I said, it doesn't feel oily. Another thing that I did notice is that the makeup itself does have kind of a light scent, and I want to say it's probably because of the SPF in it or whatever sun protection that it has in it. It does have like a, like a, I can just smell it on my lip, that's why. It kind of just smells, I don't know, like, it doesn't smell perf like perfume or anything or anything like a harsh fragrance, but it does have this like light scent, so that's another thing. Um, but other than that, it has felt very lightweight and comfortable, and I did put it to the test. I was outside for about maybe an hour or so with my younger brother, and um, the sun was out and everything, and, um, you know, I thought, okay, with, like, maybe some sweat or just being out outside, it was going to start to break or anything, but really, I haven't seen anything like that, so I have to say this is a really good foundation, and I hope I can stick with it for a while to see what kind of skin benefits it has, so... Overall, I give it a thumbs up and definitely 
if you've been thinking about it or you're, you're now thinking about it, just go ahead and give it a try. And let me know what you all think about it if some of you have already tried it down below in the comments. So thanks for watching guys and I hope this review was helpful.